30 million students march through the school cafeteria line every day in the U.S. A lot of students will bring lunch daily or at least every now and then. And moms and dads who pack lunches are always looking for a way to provide a healthy, fast lunch that kids will enjoy. But what's that take? Now you've got more on the three essentials that should be in every healthy lunchbox. All right, and Bruce, those food groups aren't chips, cookies, and a sandwich. No. Pizza. We talk, yeah, or pizza. Every now and then it's okay. But we did talk with a nutritionist who said that if you start them young, they'll eat healthy. And if you plan in advance, it can work for the entire family. The lazy days of summer are just about over. Less time at home with the kids, but more time preparing to make sure the school day goes smoothly. One thing families have to consider, lunch. A sandwich and chips and like an orange. And sometimes we get pizza. The Vincent kids start school on Monday in Duval. They all have different plans for lunch. Depends on how early mom gets up, if she has work or not that day. And mom has to keep it all organized. I mean, I hope they're making the best decisions. I don't know if they're actually eating their fruits and vegetables at school. I hope they are. For almonds or um, walnuts or something. Tabitha like that. Foose is a dietitian at St. Vincent's Healthcare. She says a little preparation goes a long way. And you need three things a protein, a carbohydrate, and a healthy fat. Fu says this combination keeps lunches healthy and filling. I mean, this will actually help them um, to where they don't crash in the afternoon because usually a lot of refined sugars, um, a lot of sugary snacks and candies um, can give them like a little crash in the afternoon. We want to keep them, you know, up to par and keep those brains nice and healthy while they're learning at school. So the staples, for example, whole wheat bread, peanut butter, if it's allowed, lunch meat without nitrates, if possible, cheese, beans. You can make a bean salad or you can even, I even sometimes will um, just use beans as just like a side to some like grilled chicken breast or even uh, making beans ahead of time and using them in tacos or wraps, a lot of different options. Fu says thinking outside the lunchbox helps and don't forget to pack their veggies. I actually will a lot of time just cut these up um, during my prep on a Sunday and then that way I can just kind of put them in my daughter's lunchbox with some hummus or even like a light ranch dressing, something with low sodium and then that way she could just use it to dip in as a side. Also, Fu says be careful about convenience foods. Take a look at the sugar. For example, not all bars are made alike. There are some bars that will have a lot of added sugar. Um, However, we have some good options here. For example, we have a lar bar. Um, lar bars are made with just dates and nuts, so there's not really any added sugar, and the dates are going to be that good carbohydrate for you. And again, the nuts are going to be that good protein and healthy fat source. And you know it's good because Richard has one every single day. Don't forget to pack a lar bar. Oh, yeah. yeah, don't forget to pack the water. Fu says that your kids will eat what they have access to, so it might not be the most popular choice, pizza brews, but don't give up on the healthy options.